Hi guys and good morning, this is Karen, welcome to another video. I just woke up an hour ago, I think. I'm just drinking my coffee. First zip of the day for my coffee. Mm, I'm having an espresso, no milk. If you were wondering, I'm just starting my morning and I had some time and I thought before we're going to work and I thought why not get ready with you so get ready with me this is the video I'm going to try out a new product I ordered I ordered from Amazon a few products and one makeup product one from elf I've been really dying to try it everyone is talking about it forever and there is a new one I think even with nice cinemate but I couldn't find it on Amazon, it was out of stock, so I got this. This is the ELF Power Grip Primer in clear. This one has 24 milliliters. Uh, it says, keep makeup in place with this clear gel primer, full of skin-loving ingredients like hyaluronic acid for skin that looks and feels it best. Okay. Apply evenly to face before makeup using your fingers to pat into skin. Allow 30 seconds to set before applying makeup. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. I haven't tried it, I haven't even opened it. We need to open it together. And opening uh, elf products always ruins the package. So, we have no choice but to win the package. I love it. <laughs> okay, so my fingers are clean. It comes with a pump. As I'm sure most of you already know. So, let's just take to my finger and apply to my face. Unfortunately, my milk grip prim primer was a mini and I finished it so I can't compare side to side but I've been using the same makeup for I think two weeks I'll show you it in a minute the Clinique one and I know when a primer is not good this makeup sits on me uh, fine at the beginning but as the day goes by, I look like a strainer. I have dots, 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 dots all over my face. Uh, so I'll know if this one is any good, if that won't happen. Uh, so we'll have a wear test just for the primer. By the end of the day, I'll show you, you know, how my face looks like when I finish filming and when I get back from work. Done. Okay, so that was the gripping primer. Everything else isn't new. I am trying, I'll just show you the makeup before my lecture. So this is the primer I've been using. This is by Clinique. This is the Clinique Even Better Clinical Serum Foundation with SPF 20. Now, I already have on skincare. I have um, my serum, my eye cream, my oh my Polar Choice, my serum, my eye cream, and my uh, face cream by Clinique, which has an SPF of 20. On top of it, I have a mineral uh, sunscreen by the Incubist, and now we have another SPF. I think the more the merrier, but you can disagree. I'm using my fingers. Um, I'm rubbing it in. We're going to use my sponge, don't worry, because it looks really cakey and makeup-y that way. If you can see, it looks like I have makeup, right? But I am just applying it with my fingers. I have to say that on camera it looks even whiter than in real life. 
because I am looking in my mirror here and in the camera it looks whiter maybe I'll try and adjust the camera in a second let's try and adjust the camera so it won't look so white I really hope that I left 30 seconds before applying the primer and applying the foundation I think so because I was talking about the this well I hope so anyway I'll see that in editing I guess okay let's adjust the light this is much better much much better okay I'm just taking my damp sponge please wash your sponge every day it accumulates a tons of bacteria if you don't We don't want bacteria on our skin. Oh, so for some reason here the foundation didn't stick so we'll have to add a tiny bit more. But maybe we will have leftovers from the forehead. So I am tapping it all over my face. Because if I want it will look too cakey and too makeupy and I don't like it. And of course, we're taking it down to our neck. So this is me with makeup, with foundation. This is me with foundation, just foundation. I think the foundation looks great. Now, I will show it to you at the end of the day. We'll see if it went into my pores and maybe into a human strainer. And it usually happens when it's a bit warm outside, so I'm not sure about the weather today. Well, now it's 16, it's going to be 17, 18, 19, so maybe. Okay, let's do the rest of our makeup. Now, where is my powder? Let's take powder. Where is my dim powder? Powder, where are you? I don't know. Probably put it back in the drawer. I'm taking my Rimmel. This is Stay Matte Powder by Rimmel in Translucent. So reflective. So I'm just taking a small refer number five brush. And I'm just applying it like that. Tiny bits just on my T zone. And yeah, I know I didn't apply anything to my under eye area. I have this one from It Cosmetics really enjoy using it. This is the uh, Your Skin But Better CC Plus Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream. Mine is in... Where's the shade name? Yeah, that's cute. Where is the shade name? I have no idea. I guess it was on the package, but still, I mean, where is the shade name? There is no shade name. I guess mine is light. Now it depends on the day. Some days I like apply I like to apply this with a brush. Some days I like to apply it with my finger. It doesn't really matter. Well, it does matter. When you take a brush in a certain technique, it's better. But I'm being lazy. So I'm just applying it with my finger. Of course, my fingers are clean. Please make sure your fingers are clean before applying anything with your fingers. I'm sounding like a mother, because I am a mother of a teenager. Okay. Juvia's Place. This is a great bronzer. This is in the shade. This is the bronzed, bronzy medium, but in the shade medium. This is medium. This is how it looks like. It has two shades. One is neutral, one is warm. 
I usually combine them both because the warm is too warm on me and the neutral is too neutral so I'm just combining them too and I'm just warming up my face I'm not contouring just warming up my face I wanted to say something I don't remember what it was I wanted to start talking about something and I totally forgot what it was oh right well I am trying to buy as little as possible I have such a huge collection I have so many things and even if my daughter is helping me I don't think I will ever be able to finish them all before they expire this is my physician formula this is called the butter believe it this is a blush I hope you can see that it's beautiful um, not my not one of my favorite this is also something I bought recently I am trying to buy less nice scent very mild coconut scent I am as I said trying to buy less and less and less I have such a huge collection and I don't need so much products I don't know what to do with them I just don't so I really try to buy as little as possible and use what I have so this is from uh, Uden's Eye this is the Alva highlighting palette can you see something really I'm not sure this is the palette I'm just using the gold shade here can you really see something I don't know. yeah now I'm using this gold shade here I'm just taking my brush so you know I bought this uh, as I s show you I bought the physician formula blush I don't really know why it was just because it was cute I don't need another blush that's for sure um, I really wanted to try the primer I was really really intrigued so many people talk about it and say such good things about it so I said I have to try it and there are two palettes that I bought I will show you when I'll open them haven't opened them yet um, but I do try to buy as little as possible and use my existing makeup I talked about it in the past but if you weren't a subscriber there then I'll repeat it I'm just taking my Smashbox 24 hours photo finish shadow primer someday you will zoom in And uh, I'm just taking out the back of my hand and warming it up because it's a bit clappy. So I'm just warming it on the back of my hand and then applying it to my lid. Uh, I talked about, I spoke about it before. I don't remember when it was, but I think it was a while ago. About consumption, about overconsumption, and. We live now in a world where social media basically helps us to decide what we need to buy. The problem is that they show us so many things. And if we buy all those things, we add more products to our collections. And worst of all, we add more waste to the world to the environment let's put some lipstick because i look completely pale and i really want some lipstick i want to use my catrice oh didn't show it to you this is my catrice this is called okay i can't really see what it says something matte do we met? Let's turn on the camera or maybe the flashlight from the 
Demi mat, right now I remember. This is the Demi mat by Catrice. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so old. <laughs> this is in the shade 080. So let's just put, let's drink my coffee and add a lip liner. It's like a brown one from ColourPop. This one is in the shade. BFF4 by Colourpop. I'm just lining my lips. Oh, this is too dark. Okay, never mind. I can't really speak when I'm applying lip liner. So forgive the silence. And I'm only taking a brush and just Blending it so it won't have rough edges. I'm blending it inwards. You know we forgot to do brows. Just like that. And on top of it, no, I have to put it here so I can wash it. Um, I'm applying my lipstick this is not new I enjoy using it I have three shades one in my purse and two here oh this is darker than I remembered hmm. definitely darker than I remembered I can gloss it let's keep it like that for now Eyebrows. I didn't do eyebrows. <clears throat> That's not good. I'm using my e.l.f. Wow Brow in taupe. I think it's about to die. The overconsumption is awful. Um, there is one video that kind of made me squinch in my chair when I saw it I'm sure you if you're watching you uh, beauty then you probably know Michaela and she got a PR I don't remember when it was I think I don't know a month ago or so maybe more I'm not really sure she got a PR package from P Louise now P Louise I'm talking to you she got a pile of boxes a pile of boxes full of PR from everything they have on their website. I mean, why? Why does she need so much transportation? I mean, think about it. Why does she need all of these products? She's just one person. She will not be able to review anything, everything. And it's not new. It just you, it looks like you took one of each from your website and sent it to her. I think it was on basically her body size, the height of the packages. And they had to pack it and they had to send it to her. And all of that for what? What is she going to do with all of that? I really feel bad for her. I really do. So P. Louise, really, why did you do that? And let's take another example. Let's say me. Okay, I order a package. Now, I ordered from Amazon. This is really strange. I ordered a lot of things from Amazon. But they divided them to three packages. Oh my God, why? If I would have known... I mean, I saw that they... Div I'm not ordering a lot from Amazon. I saw that they split it to three packages. I didn't really understand that I'm going to receive three packages. I received one a week ago, the other one yesterday, and I have another one. And all of them from the same order. Why? I don't understand why. Think about that. Just Let's just do makeup while we're talking. I'm using this Nomad. 
I don't know if I, I used it online. This is their Petes de Provence. This is a beautiful, colorful palette. Can you see that? Yeah. I love it. I've been using it, I think, just once. So let's use it again. I'm just taking the shade Caldissons. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Let's take this orangey shade. I'm using this color basically. Or maybe this one. I'm not sure. Let's just try this one. Bill V it says on the imprint. And I really, really love the imprints. And I don't want to ruin the imprints. Can you see them? They are gorgeous. Gorgeous imprints. All of the shades, not only the shimmers. This is just beautiful and I hate to use it sometimes. I'm just applying it above my crease. Okay, I am babbering too much. Let's just hurry things up. And what I wanted to say is the thing that I ordered these. I ordered from Amazon just one order. They divided it into three. And I imagine that's because these products do not sit in the same area, so they can't consolidate shipments. So think that I ordered once, received in three packages. That means three different people or machines, doesn't really matter, packed my order. Now, this, the first order was three items, the second order was just this. And I don't remember how many uh, products I still need to receive. I think another tr three or four. So each time they take a packet. Okay, I'll show it to you. The last one arrived with this, I mean this big, with this primer. I mean, why? It's such wasteful and it's plastic, which is the worst. At least it was paper, it was a the first order was in a box. Second one was, as I showed it to you, was in a plastic wrap. I mean, why? Why? So they wasted three packages. Each one needs to ship to me, to be shipped to me via airplane. I imagine why so shipment and then inland delivery in a truck and then a delivery guy because it all of them were delivered to my doorstep i didn't have to i didn't have to go and pick them up i'm taking uh, macaroons which is this shade here Think about all of the waste. This is pigmented. Very pigmented. Think about the waste. And now I got packages. I'm unpacking them. And yeah, we'll put them in recycling, but you know, especially plastic. Recycling is a illusion. The amount of plastic they're able to recycle is so small. Why? I really don't understand. And you know, this is just one package for me. Millions of people are ordering packages every day. I'm order. I'm just using Flute et Corset. Maybe this one here. It's a pink shimmer. As you can see, it's my favorite because I used it a lot. So why? First of all, why divide my order into three sections? Oh, God, that was annoying. I'm not sure if I knew about it before placing the order. Because I'm not, as I said, I don't order a lot from Amazon. So please let me know in the comment section down below if you know. Can I know in advance that I'm going to receive it in three different packages? 
because I think if I would have known, maybe I wouldn't have ordered. Now let's put, I really need to go. Uh, this is by Maybelline. This is their Curl Bounce Mascara. Such a ply coat of mascara. Now, um, I'll be back at the end of the day and show you the primer. Of course, I'll show you now up close, but really, my face looks really, really beautiful. I see it now when I'm using my small mirror to do my lashes. This is a nice mascara, but I don't like removing it. Sometimes if I remove it, uh, then I have leftovers under my eyes. Okay, so let's look. This is the final look, basically. Look at my face, it looks flawless even in real life. Okay, sometimes in the camera it looks more flawless than real life, but even in real life, well, of course, I have wrinkles, they're not going away. Let's just be honest about that. And I have here all those lines that are not going to go away, but you know, if you look at me at far. You're not going to see all of my flaws. Okay, so this is the final look. As this, yeah, that was my stomach hungry. <laughs> so this is the final look, and for you it's going to be a millisecond. For me, it's going to be the whole day. So I'm going to work, and I will come back and show you again. Let's see up close. I think. It looks beautiful. I didn't blend. I don't have time. I need to go like this. Sorry. Okay. Well, I'm back about 10 hours later. This is me after 10 hours or so. Let's see up close. Well, I'm not really happy. I looked in my small mirror. A magnifying mirror and I see here can you see here what's going on I have patches of makeup here and near next to my nose here there is no makeup at all and here I have the strainer oh you can see here I have the strainer dots 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 that means the makeup sunk into my pores and here also sunk into my pores here not here just here here as well sunk into my pores all this and the concealer is sitting on the skin and well I don't like it but look at the eye makeup by Nomad Cosmetics. It kind of lasted all day. A lipstick, of course, I had to change. I still see the highlighter, but basically that's it. A bit of bronzer, but nothing really um, outstanding. But the most important thing was the makeup because we were testing the e.l.f. Right? Yeah. Um, maybe it's the makeup because I still haven't found a, f a primer that kind of makes this one work 100%. So maybe I'll try it with a different foundation, maybe with the Dior foundation, the Backstage foundation. Maybe we'll try them together. I don't know, maybe with the Charlotte Tilbury. That's also an option. We'll see. So, but this combination together for me doesn't work. That's for sure. I know, don't know if it's that or this or this, but it's definitely not good. Okay, that's it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and join my family here on YouTube. And let me know if there is a combination that you want me to test and I do have the foundation or it's easy for me to buy. Then let me know and I will test it with another foundation. Please let me know in the comment section down below if you try this 
and you have a combination that you like or you have a combination that you want me to try let me know i'm here so like this video if you enjoyed it subscribe before you leave join my family here on youtube and i will catch you all in my next video bye